What the? Ah! Oh, what was that? No, 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 no. <sighs> well, we're heading over to Cole's place. Brian, the mechanic, just called, oh, probably an hour ago. He's bringing back our combine. He took it home to his shop, which is uh, probably a little more than an hour away. There was some work that they wanted it up there to be able to work on it a little easier than our shop. So we're heading back to go unload it and to get him paid. Ryan brought the combine back today, beautiful day. Got it on his trailer. We're hoping everything goes good and it doesn't flip off the trailer. That had to make the heart beat a little bit loading that up. Well, there she sits for tonight. Ryan's gonna hook up the detach now. We'll see how he does, which he's gonna do a lot better than I would. I've never hooked one of these up before. Corn Star and me, we get to enjoy the little Eddie. But we're having fun. We're taking a little time today to enjoy the little bugger. <laughs> Let's hope it's uh, don't become a. Uh. This is what you call a morning early riser. Little Eddie woke up, so she put him in bed. <laughs> What are you doing? It's only six o'clock in the morning. Little Eddie is a animal. <laughs> mm, who's that little booger? Is that you? Oh, yeah. Tell me all about your night. Was it a long night? Did you sleep good? Who's that little guy? <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? You're gonna kick me in the head. You're gonna kick me in the head. I just think when you get older, you can have pancakes with me this morning, but you gotta get a little bit older where you can start eating. Yeah. Six o'clock in the morning. Got an 18 pound kid on my stomach. Can you say full bladder? You got full bladder ready to go boom, bust. Not on you, but on me. I'm not used to checking oil and stuff in a car seat. My little buddy has been taking a nap for the last 45 minutes. Look at your face, it's all wrinkled. <laughs> You're a wrinkled mess, buddy. You forget how much fun little boogers are. And you know the nice thing is, we get to spoil you, we get to make you run. <laughs> And then we can send you home. Are you ready to go to work, buddy? Are you ready to go to work? Are you going to take my hand, buddy? What are you going to do? Are you going to squish my hand? Are you going to grab it and smash it? Ooh, ow, you're, you're squishing Grandpa's hand. And you say hi to everybody that's looking at you and say, Good morning, everybody. I love you. We brought the second sprayer down. So this is the one we bought last winter. We got to get it washed. God, I'm tripping over the hose. We got to get this one washed up and then we're going to put the wire drops back on it. Cole used this probably a week ago or so to do some spraying. So now we got to put everything back on it. Ah. Oh. Came out here to check some of the corn to see how it's tasseling. It's looking good. This just actually started a few days ago. We kind of want to wait till it starts getting like a brown silk here. And then we'll start spraying fungicide, so it's a little bit early. They claim every one of these hairs is connected to a kernel that will be made on the ear of corn. So like this one, at this time, don't have a lot of hair. So hopefully it'll get some more on there, but I see like that one, two ears, but that's on the edge of the field. So to start the day out, Ellie is taking her morning drink. And we actually do, we have a couple containers in the truck for water so throughout the day we make sure ellie has water in her water dish out there in the field we got to remember when we stop for drink we want to make sure our puppies our dogs whatever is out there with you needs to drink also something that's easy to forget we think hey we're thirsty the pet will be fine but they're our best buddy we want to make sure they have plenty of fluids also nothing like being out on a job site and then it's like oh god i was right by the fuel the other day why did i not fill it and now I'm on fume. I've done that too many times, so I always just like to keep it on the fuller side, the skid loader. You know, it's like everything. It seems like when it's on full, it takes forever to get off of full. And then when it comes off of full, it gets down about half, 
The bottom half goes fast. We might as well go ahead and fuel up, and I'm in no hurry to get out in the sun. It is warm out there today. A lot of times when I'm done with the uh, fuel trailer here, I go ahead and shut the fuel off, and that way I can suck a little bit out of the carburetor, and then if it gets warm during the day, it's not pushing it into the motor. Maybe I'm crazy, but something I like to do. So I'm just sitting there bouncing around in the uh, skid loader trying to hold the camera here. I guess I really can't complain. I'm sitting in here in air conditioning. Got the radio. Ellie's in here with me. But I tell you what, still not the most exciting job in the world just following Cooper around with a skid loader. But it's something we want done and it's easier to do it when the ground's clean and just brown dirt right now. So that does make it a lot easier. Oh boy, the joy. The joy of being the uh, only one on the road right now. I see nobody for miles. Bringing the sprayer, the one over to Cole's gonna jump in the other sprayer. I think I have this one ready now for doing, uh, what are we gonna be doing next? Fungicide, we're gonna be doing fungicide. So I think this one's ready for that. And I gotta get the other one home, get the wide drops on and blah, blah, blah. And make sure it's ready to roll. When you're sitting here in the seat, I mean, it's hard to see it from your area. It looks like a nice, wide open but this top bar up here it's right in my forehead right where it's hard to see going down the road every so often I just got to peek under it and look back up peek under it look up can you see Eddie grandma feed me yeah, yeah. and you like your food don't you Eddie let me eat grandpa we can gab later can't we buddy <laughs> yeah we can gab later <laughs> are you smiling to everybody are you saying hi what do you think little eddie we got to bring you over to the neighbors quick they're gonna watch you for a while today susan's gonna watch you and you know what yeah you want to see what i did i'm gonna change eddie's diaper here in a minute so i made a diaper that i'll be putting them on and it says help I have a gift for you. So when Susan changes him later, it could be a big gift in there or just a wet gift. So let's go ahead and put your diaper on and get you ready to go to Susan's. What do you think, bud? Are you eating a spoon? Yes, well, what was that? A roll away, buddy. No, 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 no. We got you all cleaned out. Are you stuck to the floor like a suction cup? There you go, there you go. Come on, you can do it. And guess what happened? It's only a five minute drive. Ah! But I got him cleaned. Now he's... <laughs> he don't know what he's doing today. What's the matter, bud? This is the plan of the attack today. And <laughs> we're not gonna mess around here too long. I wanna get these wide drops at least hooked to the bar here. And then we're gonna put the sprayer inside and hopefully do the work in there to hook everything up. It is really starting to get warm out today. They're talking 92 degrees. There is no breeze. There is no air in the air. There is no air in there. There is air in there, but there is no air in the breeze blowing at us. Seems like the only time we really get the winds of blowing is when we're trying to spray and we can't have the wind. Here again, this is almost a two-man job. If one could hold it there and get it right in line, it would go a lot easier than trying to hold it by yourself, but we gotta make do because it's just you and us. I decided to pull the sprayer inside the shop here. It was really starting to get pretty warm outside. One of them days, it seems like, every day almost, <laughs> kind of jumping around here and there. It sounds like Daughter Summer, son-in-law Jay, son Cole, daughter-in-law Neva are coming back today. So I sent a text off to Mama Cornstar. Little Eddie's not even gone yet. I miss the little bugger. We need to lower all these undercarriages all the way down. Ah, shoot, I got stuff there to take off. It just don't quit, it don't quit. Might as have a little bit of ice cream quick. What the? Ah, where's Ellie when you need her? Yeah, this ain't very good with a little plastic spoon. I need to get a better spoon. But I remember one time I went and got a bowl of ice cream for both me and my uncle Marvin. They had a little dog, if I remember right. It was a little black and white dog. It wasn't real big, short fur. Kind of a little snappy thing anyhow. Didn't really like me at times. I think it was just its nature. 
But anyhow, getting my uncle his ice cream and mine, and when I was putting the ice cream away, little Pepper jumped up on the table, took a bite of my ice cream. So being a smart little whipper ropper, I took that bowl, I switched it with my uncle, took the spoon, flipped it over so you couldn't see the bite of the ice cream was gone. Then I brought the ice cream in to my uncle. He lived, he's still doing good. So right there shows you, dogs have clean mouths. You guys are probably thinking I felt bad doing that. Nah, here's ice cream. I didn't want to eat it. His dog, that's one thing that kind of makes these little undercarriages on our spare kind of unique. These will be down below, between the rows, down probably a little below where the ears are sticking out on the stalks of corn. We're gonna put little sprayer tips on. My tongue's getting stuck and I can't think what I wanna say, but these little sprayer tips will also go down here, which is kind of neat because we'll have three tips here. So when we're going through the field, these will be spraying out all over the side of the corn. Some spraying up, it's gonna just drench in there. Every other nozzle up above, so the nozzle between here and here will be open too. So we'll be getting the blast down between the corn and psh, splattering all over the corn. This corn will be drenched with fungicide. So hopefully it'll help make our stocks good and strong, healthy. Just takes time to get all this stuff set up. This will be the first year on this machine here that we're running it. And then you can see up above here, Ooh, let's get to the right one. Do we hear, do we hear the tip? Yes, we do right here. So this one will be spraying down. This row here will be spraying up and all over. Then the next one here will be spraying straight down. Now this machine right now, the air is out of the airbag, so it will go up over six foot tall underneath the sprayer once everything's filled up with air. That gives us the advantage to go out and tall corn, shoot right down it. I know what you're thinking. Do you knock over a lot of corn? No, you don't. When you get to the end rows, you turn, knock very little over, and you're back in the straight rows. And then when you're spraying this stuff on, your machine sets up so high, the corn just goes underneath. We go a little bit slower, so the corn has time to push forward, goes underneath the machine, pops back up. You don't break any off. Now, hopefully it stays that way this year too, or I'm gonna be eating my cereal with my tongue, but I lied to you guys, but the past, it's worked perfect. I don't know if you can see that little black bag there. When this thing starts up, that will fill up with air. This here is on the tire right now. It will be up here. So this goes up a long ways once we start it up. And then I got the booms and everything down kind of low right now for me to work on it. Pretty soon Mama Corn Star will be home, but I'm gonna finish this up first. Okay guys, I think we're done. <laughs>